Anchorage, Alaska is assessing the damage tonight after a powerful earthquake rocked buildings and tore up roads. There have been no reports yet of deaths, but the governor has declared a disaster. I spoke with Lori Townsend of Alaska Public Media by phone a short time ago about what it was like when the quake hit. It was the most violent shaking I've experienced. I've been in Alaska for nearly 20 years and have, of course, experienced many uh, earthquakes. We had uh, a couple of large ones in the last couple of years, but this was a very violent and long shake. And what do you understand about damage? What are you hearing? There has been extensive damage. Uh, the Seward Highway is closed because of rock fall near this area called McHugh Creek and concern over other aftershocks that could create uh, more landslide or rock fall damage. And so that's closed. There's damage on the northbound highway on the Glen, it's called the Glen Highway. There was a partial collapse of a bridge at an intersection uh, of International and Minnesota in, right in um, Anchorage. There's a sinkhole on the New Seward Highway. There's damages on other parts mm. of the highway. And so, Judy, there's a lot of damage in the city and it's still being assessed right now by city officials. Amazing. There were no injuries. Uh, we understand the schools are closed. Um, uh, the oil pipeline was shut down. So this is causing major disruption. It is causing major disruption, but a lot of this is precautionary methods, too. Uh, Alaska Pipeline Service Company that maintains the pipeline has said that so far they have not seen that there is actual damage. But they shut the line down as a precaution to until they can ensure that. And the schools have closed because the Anchorage School uh, District, in an abundance of caution, it has canceled classes for today, also Monday and Tuesday, and want parents to just get their kids out of there so that they can assess and make sure that the buildings are completely safe before children go back to school next week at some point. We did have a report of one house that actually house burned down there. because of a gas line rupture and it caused an explosion and burned this Man, gentleman's house down. He is someone who had lived through the 1964 earthquake and so he lost his home. Well, the rest of the country is certainly watching with concern and we wish you the best and uh, certainly hope uh, there turn out to be no casualties. Lori Townsend, thank you very much. Thank you, Judy.